In this video, we review the two forest types available in Azure Active Directory domain services. Hello, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. As the name implies, Azure Active Directory Domain Services is an Active Directory domain service hosted in, well, Azure. It's kind of like a PaaS version of Windows AD. I did a couple videos on this. One video goes over the difference between Windows AD Azure AD and Azure AD Domain Services. I have another that goes over deploying Azure AD Domain Services and joining a computer to the domain. Links to those are above or below, or probably both. Azure AD Domain Services now support two types of forest, a user forest and a resource forest. In this video, we go over the two and identify when to use one over the other. Before that, please take a second to like, subscribe, and share, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. Your support is greatly appreciated. To get started, let's say we have a pretty simple setup of an on-premises Windows AD domain, an Azure AD domain, and an Azure AD domain services domain. By the way, if that sounds confusing to you, you're not alone. Check out my video linked below for an overview of each. We want to allow users in the Windows AD domain to log into resources in the Azure AD domain services domain with the same identity. Let's review how Azure AD and Azure AD domain services manage identities with the user forest type. The Azure AD domain consists of cloud users, users sourced from Azure AD. When we deploy Azure AD domain services with a user forest type, the identities are replicated from Azure AD to the new Azure AD Domain Services domain. An important side note about this, the password hash used for Azure AD is different from the legacy NTLM and Kerberos password hash used for Active Directory Domain Services. For security reasons, it's not possible to generate a legacy NTLM hash from Azure AD. That means the newly replicated accounts don't have passwords. If you tried to log into the new Azure AD Domain Services domain at this point, the login would fail. The password needs to be changed in Azure AD. That will generate the correct password hash that will then replicate to the Azure AD Domain Services domain. Where were we? Ah, we have Azure AD Domain Services set up and cloud users are replicating from Azure AD, but that doesn't get us to our requirements of users from the Windows AD domain logging into Azure AD Domain Services. At this point, we have to use Azure AD Connect to replicate the users from Windows AD to Azure AD, enabling password hash synchronization. From there, the IDs will replicate to the Azure AD Domain Services domain, allowing users to sign in. Another side note, again about password hash synchronization, the password hashes that allow users to log into Azure AD are different from the hash values used to log into Azure AD domain services. Replicating the legacy NTLM and Kerberos password hash has to be enabled on the Windows domain before users are able to log in. That's great, it meets our goal of allowing users to log into both domains with a common set of credentials, but not so fast. Not every organization uses password hash synchronization. Some organizations may have a federated domain using ADFS or use pass-through authentication to avoid synchronizing password hashes to Azure AD. In these cases, the passwords do not synchronize from Windows AD to Azure AD and then to Azure AD domain services. How do we allow users to log in without synchronizing these password hashes? That's exactly the situation a resource forest type is intended to address. A resource forest does not replicate identities from Azure AD. Instead, it uses a one-way trust from the Azure AD Domain Services resource domain to the Windows AD domain. With this configuration, the Azure AD Domain Services domain is the trusting domain trusting the identities of the Windows AD domain. With the trust relationship established, the users can log into the trusting domain after they authenticate to the trusted Windows AD domain. There are a couple things that need to be in place for this to work. There needs to be a private connection between Azure AD domain services and the Windows domain, either using VPN or Express Route. Internal DNS also has to be in place for both domains to locate cross-domain resources. Also, an enterprise or premium Azure AD Domain Services SKU is required to use a resource domain. So let's recap. A user forest type synchronizes identities from Azure AD, both cloud and on-premises, and requires password hash synchronization. 
A resource forest type is used when password hashes are not available. It uses a one-way forest trust between the Azure AD domain services domain and the Windows domain, along with connectivity between them. A resource domain also requires an enterprise SKU or above. I hope this helps you distinguish between the two domain types in Azure AD Domain Services. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.